both the Saints and obviously the Lions have been eliminated from postseason contention. But what's on the line? Well, trying to win the first game of the year and not become the first team to go 0-15. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Orwood, CBS Sports' is Charlie Casterly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. We'll get to that scenario in just a sec. But Charlie, the news uh, in terms of New Orleans this week, putting Reggie Bush on injured reserve. It has been three years now in the NFL. Can you look at what you've seen and say whether or not he can be a good quality football player for this team and the focal point of an offense? Well, I, I think he can figure out what he can do on the field. He can give you punt returns. He can be a pass receiver out of the backfield. He can be, what if you want to call him a special player, a satellite player, where you move him around. The injury and the durability factor, that's interesting because in scouting him coming out, one of the things that concerned me for durability in the NFL was his lower build. He was built like a wide receiver from the waist down. You want running backs with thicker thighs that are built to be able to withstand the punishment. And that would be a question I had coming out. That's why one of the reasons we didn't take him, because I didn't feel at, at $8 million a year the guy would give you 60 plays a game uh, as a running back. And he hasn't been able to do that, and he's not going to be able to do that. So can he, can he be an explosive player in the passing game as a punt returner? He can do some things there. He's not going to make a living running the ball. He's proven that. Durability certainly is a question going forward. And, and the key to this offense, really, Charlie, and you and I were talking about this before we started this preview, uh, it's Drew Brees. Because whether Reggie Bush is there, Reggie Jeremy Shock, whether Jeremy Shockey's there, Marcus yeah. Colson, they still move the football down the field, and he's chasing Dan Marino's record. Now, he's got a long way to go in two games, but in this game, What's the limit for how many yards he can put up here? Well, it, it, uh, I don't know. There is a limit because Detroit has some weaknesses, and, and, and we don't mean that uh, in a disrespectful way at 0-14, but the secondary might be the weakest part of that football team. And the strongest part, as you pointed out, is the passing game of the New Orleans Saints. Why? Schematically, uh, Sean Payton does a great job of designing plays to get people open. And Drew Brees, hey, the guy can read it quick and get it out quick and find the open man. So as you pointed out, it doesn't make any difference who the receivers are. They find open people. They're inside a dome. That, so all of a sudden, weather doesn't become a factor. I think they can move the ball up and down the field this and, game. And Pierre Thomas has become a good running back. Done for a nice Drew Brees. job. He's done a very nice job yeah. in his second year out of Illinois. And also out of the backfield catching the football right. for Drew Brees as well. Meanwhile, for the Lions, last week they went to Indianapolis. Uh, I think a lot of people expected them to get blown out. What did you take out of that game against the Colts? Well, I, the same thing with uh, uh, Detroit. Throw out the Tennessee game on Thanksgiving. Rod Marinelli has done a tremendous coaching job as far as getting his team motivated to play playing hard they're on the road against one of the best teams in the league right now the Colts and they gave them everything they had took them into the fourth quarter uh, with a chance for Detroit to win the football game they're going to play hard again this week and the other part to that is offensively in that game Dan Orlovsky Calvin Johnson Kevin Smith they looked very good and against the Saints you may be able to score on this Saints team with those three parts. No, you know you're going to be able to do it with Calvin Johnson, but with the other guys as well. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Smith did a nice job running the football, and, and Darren Olafsky has been uh, their chance to win better than Dante Culpepper uh, when he's been in the game. So defensively, uh, the, as you pointed out, the Saints, they struggle stopping the run. They really struggle uh, stop in the pass and Calvin Johnson has the ability to be as good as any wide receiver in the league and he's having his best year and you look for him to have a big game and, and Detroit to be motivated and hey could this be the Sunday this well, well this may have to be the Sunday because after this Sunday they go to Green Bay uh, where if I'm not mistaken they haven't won since 1991 that's before you were born well, no it's, not, <laughs> it's only a couple <laughs> years after I was born Let's see what AccuScore has to say. Let's see how much of a chance they give the Lions to get win number one here uh, in week 16. It's 10,000 tests, 10,000 results in AccuScore. Hey, that's a chance, Charlie. That's a chance. That's 24%. <laughs> Last week it was 91-9 to against the Colts. The computer giving the Lion a chance. You taking Detroit for the win. Oh, I can't do it. Why I not? Do it. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Well, I do know why. <laughs> uh, but I do think they'll be competitive in the game. I think this will be an exciting game to watch. I really believe it. Because you got the drama of going to 0-15 with a team that's motivated to play that has a formula to win this football game, meaning Detroit. Their offense throwing the football, Kevin Smith running the football. But here's the thing. Um, I think Drew Brees... Uh, is going to have a big game. And I think if it becomes a scoring contest, which it might, I just can't believe the, uh, the Saints can't put up more points in this game than the Lions because of Drew Brees and their efficiency on offense.
Roar Lions Roar. That's All right. The, that's what the crowd will say uh, in Detroit. We'll, we'll see how much of a crowd there is. That's but that's, that's the other story uh, for Detroit. But they do play hard, as you pointed out. We'll see how they do. 1 o'clock Eastern. And for more on this game or any other in Week 16, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Casserly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.